Now, let's talk technology. One young Nigerian is teaching his peers how to code using their Android smartphones. Samuel Anyele, popularly known as the mobile prof, says learning coding on the phone can make transition to doing the same on a personal computer easier. Here's the story. In this small office in Yaba, no PCs are allowed, but they are learning to code. Echo. So what, are we, what variable are we echoing here? The only laptop visible is the one used in transitioning from a mobile. Samuel Agnelli, also known as the mobile prof, is teaching young people how to code but without a PC. He does this using Android smartphones. In Nigeria, we have very low PC penetration. Most of the people who are excited about tech literally do not have access to a laptop. So we are coming from the, their perspective, with the tools they have, and enabling them based on the tools they have. Teaching them things that by the time they learn how to code on the phone, trans transiting to a laptop is very easy. All they have to do is to load a Linux on the laptop and all the knowledge they acquired on the phone is immediately translated to working on a laptop. So I'm currently on my laptop. I've made some changes to um, an application on my laptop. And so I, want to, I would like to um, push it to my um, Mac because I want to work on my Mac now. Uh, so what I need to do is to use Git. Git allows me to do a Git add to add the changes I've made. Git add dot would allow me to add the changes I've made. And then after adding the changes, I do Git commit to commit those changes to my repo. Git commit, I put a message for the commits. So I say um, latest files. These days, mobile phones are like many computers, giving many of the features a regular laptop offers. And with many youths having access to smartphones much more than computers, this may well help solve the problem of young people learning to code at an early stage.